This is a tripod broadcast. What are the chances here? Well, let's start recording, so... We just did. Okay, cool. I think this is a key show to listen to because it's... It's it's uh, it's all about emotional masturbation. <laughs> Journalistic integrity. It encapsulates everything that we're about. And I'm sorry. Now, <laughs> give that some thought. Yeah. With Addison... I can't be mad at you. You got a haircut. And Matt. I would recommend that you, you stop listening right now. <laughs> well, the guy that spoke on Sunday wasn't a regular guy. Yeah. Um... He played three clips of, it's the kind of stuff that you and I see all day mm-hmm. long, you know, but like, you know, tranny pastors and, you know, uh, he played this one clip of a, of a lady reading through some children's book, you know, A is for ally, B is for buy, that, that kind yeah. of bullshit. Mm-hmm. Read through the whole book. He played the whole clip. C is for corrupt. Was, D is for damned. <laughs> no, but it was. It e was, is for eternal torture. It, it was excruciating because you could see like the boomers in church mm-hmm. really, really being like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, you guys should just get on Telegram. Just <laughs> just pull the plug. You think that's bad. Wait till you, wait till you see the channels that are just nothing but black on white violence. Um. <laughs> and Yeah. Well, hats off to her for for getting rid of Disney Plus because oh yeah, um, I guess she finally found out about Easy TV. Oh, is that yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like you can watch all the things Everything. you you want to yeah. watch on every single streaming platform and normal television, and it's free. Ooh. Um, yeah, dude, I pirate everything, and I used to I used to like pay for a couple of streaming services and think in my head like, oh, you know, it you know I shouldn't steal. Mm-hmm. But now that I'm really aware of the corruption and just the overall jewelry of Hollywood, yeah. Now I'm like, no. Even if I've bought it before, I'm still stealing it, and I'm leaving it seating. The only streaming I get- services I have <laughs> that I pay for are two podcasts. Yeah, same here. The only thing I pay, the only inter- it, well, it's not even really entertainment. But uh, we've talked. I probably mentioned this before. Mysterious Universe, nine bucks a month. Yeah. Um, ten bucks a month to No Agenda. Oh, nice! You're up to ten now. Look at you. And then uh, I share a password with you for to, for the higher side chats. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And I thought I thought we uh, shared it with somebody else, but uh, I guess not. I guess it's just me and you on there. Um, well, thanks to ads on Netflix, password sharing is going away. <laughs> That'll solve everything. Good job, Netflix. You're not completely retarded. Did they lose a shitload of money? Did you see all that? I saw that. I I was I was tickled. It makes me so happy. Yeah. Like yes, it went at at at. Well, it, when it first broke, I was kind of like, "This is not. They're a multi billion dollar. You know, this is not really hurting them." But I've since seen, apparently, they're firing some executives and they're pulling the plug on a bunch of, um, animation stuff that they've already greenlit. Mm-hmm. So they're they're no they're they're actually putting people out of jobs, which I'm like, oh. Thank God. Okay, well, <laughs> well, the, here's the thing with with Netflix is they're still trying to play the same game they were playing five years ago, when they were the only streaming service in town. Yeah, and it was just like, oh, Amazon's trying. Ha ha ha, Amazon. Yeah, you know, or Hulu or whoever. And it was still everybody paying the cable subscription stuff. Yeah, and now like HBO Plus, mm-hmm. whatever HBO Max, I guess it's called. Like, no, everybody's doing the streaming thing. And so Netflix doesn't have the buying power when it comes to content. Right, exactly. Um and I think I think that what they were doing was bloating their numbers as far as subscribers and uh revenue and things like that. I think they've been bloating their numbers and I think now when you have a full almost 2 years of Apple Plus TV, yeah, Paramount, all the others, yeah. Paramount having the number one show on tv right now mm-hmm. not to know. mention pluto tv and all these others and all the other free ones but then um with disney plus Peacock. right when disney plus came on the scene like they were the real they that was the only one because you have amazon prime mm-hmm. you have paramount you have peacock but when disney plus came on the scene that was the only one that everyone was like oh we have to have this and netflix yeah yeah, it really was because everything else would eventually hit Netflix at some point, or or you know you can wait till it's free to watch two weeks after the episode aired. Yeah, uh, with on ads, Hulu or Pluto or on wherever. Hulu. Oh yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah. So, but but or if this, you're smart, you'd get your torrent the night that it comes out. 
Correct. <laughs> but Disney Plus was the one who came on the scene. I think now we're seeing the the repercussions of Netflix playing the same old game and people realizing in the past year, oh, we actually watch Disney Plus like 10 times more than we watch Netflix. Or there's no shows I'm really interested in on Netflix, but there's a bunch of, I, I want to see on Paramount Plus. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or on HBO. So I think you're seeing... And some of them, some of the studios through the flu did streaming only releases for feature films, did they not? Or am I, yeah, am I wrong? Yeah, yeah, that was a big thing. Black Widow <laughs> was the the streaming only release. No, that was the one that was streaming and theaters. No, oh. and Scarlett Johansson only got a cut of theater no oh. money. No, oh. and but it was Is she going to be okay? It was much more. No, I think she'll be fine. She may have to liquidate some assets. E, well. <laughs> I put some liquid on her assets. Okay, that's disrespectful. Um, yeah, I like that strain. It's very tasty. So I sent so for tonight's can of cast. <laughs> I sent Matt a screenshot of the two strains that I have right now. Two two flowers, big Detroit energy, and uh, jasmine Thai. And I said, which one do you want to smoke? <laughs> <laughs> and he chose Jasmine Thai. <laughs> and I wonder if that's agreeing with him. <laughs> <laughs> easy there, but easy there, Biden. I'm gonna give you the whole load today. Hmm. That hits pretty hard. It tastes great. I have not had it out of a pre-roll. I used to smoke pre-rolls quite a bit, uh, just my regular smoking. But lately, I have been, I'll just pack a bowl, and it'll last me two or three days as, yeah. I, as I get through it. Put uh, a little fresh on top? Not doing that move, no. Hmm. No. I just pack it real good, and then in just two or three days. Um, and and plus, I've had a lot of edibles because I've I've had a lot of... Uh, just stuff coming in. Like I got two of the pinnacle ones at my, at my house right now, the hundred milligrams. I got <laughs> one of the vegan and one of the regular. Hmm. Excuse me. Speaking of four twenty deals, I still have some of them live on my Delta com. You can get free edibles with every order. Pick, choose your cannabinoid. And I can attest that your bull, your, I'm sorry, no, your edibles aren't like the bullshit free edibles mm. you get at the uh, dispensary. <laughs> no, For instance, you, I think I, I told you a couple of weeks ago. No, yeah, yeah I think my sister, who isn't just does edibles. <laughs> what a drug addict! Uh, dropped off um, a point two gram nug of weed that she got for free from a dispensary. That was there. Spend this much, get get the snug. Get it, yeah, yeah. With yeah. Each, every purchase, try a free sample of. And she told she dropped it off at my house. And she was like, "Hey, you can have this." Usually they do penny pre rolls or something, but yeah, you can have this. I don't want to learn how to to smoke weed. <laughs> she don't want to go down the dark side, huh? I'm like, bitch, you smoke it. Yeah, you you smoke it. Like I don't learning what. Okay, anyway, um. Learn how to smoke weed. But so I opened it up that night, and it was the driest, mm. most sparse. Well, the free like, ones are probably all pre-packed straggly. and all that. Well, um, it's the stuff that they had on the shelf for the past six months that no one was buying. Yeah. So it's like, we need to get rid of inventory. So now and, it's a freebie. So now it's an incentive. Yeah. You know? Add a, add two pre-rolls, and we'll get this tiny free nug. That's a, a third of a pre-roll. Oh, by the way, we cut some of that pre-roll with the shitty weed. Yeah. You know, we don't have a water tonight, and I actually have to put my dear sweet wife on blast for that. I was just thinking that. We don't have a water. She Are, you, th- are you thirsty? <laughs> I am, but I don't want uh, I don't want your, your devil serum that you got here. Oh, jeez. Oh, is that water? Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, it helps. It helps after you smoke. Keep you from getting the dry mouth sure, and sure. keep you from coughing so much. 100%. Let me take a picture of that for my mom. Let me just bottoms up on the... What is this? Jeez. 
So that McCormick rum. I had. Uh, I've I've taken to like once a week. I'll fill up an old bottle handle of rum that I had had the previous week with water, and that'll be my bedside water. Yeah, you know, well, they're decent bottles for chugging water for grabbing in the morning. Are you still? Is that just tap water in there? It's just tap water. Oh, Matthew. I mean, you're you're renting, so I can't. You know, it's not like you can put one under the sink. Really get yourself clean. Um, it's like a, it, it, drinking tap water on a regular basis is like when you're a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> yeah, tell it's me like how this it's like works. playing playing on hard mode. Because <laughs> <clears throat> you got to really work to decalcify. Yes, and, yes, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm going to subscribe to Disney Plus and have an Amazon Prime account. Drink t- drink tap water. Yeah, and and be a conspiracy yeah. therapist. Yeah. <laughs> Conspiracy theory on hard mode. <laughs> I'm done with that one. Yeah. Woo. Got you a little too good, huh? Now, see, I maintain <laughs> not to put you on blast here on <laughs> when you're on your deathbed. <laughs> I maintain that you cough far worse than me. Even with the joints, uh, because because of cigarettes. <laughs> and went out. Um, you're not wrong. You gotta cut some of this out. I'm, you make me look like a fool. Oh man, smoke weed every day. <laughs> In fairness, <laughs> in, oh yeah, go ahead. To everyone who can't hear, can't. I'm sorry, can't see. I've been coughing into a hanky. Yes. Dry, trying to dry my eyes for a solid three minutes. You didn't take a sip of rum. That's that wacky tobacco. Will I ever be normal again? <laughs> Find out on the ep- next episode of Give That Some Thought. Uh, dude, we could have said that on episode one. And uh, drink some water. It'll help. <laughs> I know. What a novel concept. Um, <laughs> no, because I'm going through the, the old episodes still. Oh, yeah. That helps with that. Yeah. It does. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that. Body 70% water, Matt. You can't drink enough. I, I definitely believe that. The Jew fears the hydrated white man. I'm telling you. Okay? <laughs> I said... Uh, the Jew fears a lot of things. It's Well, speaking of things the Jews fear, I was think uh, I can't remember if I sent this to Chris or somebody else, but I, uh, I sent him a picture of a chicken tractor that we finished. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just said, the Jew fears the humble poultry farmer. <laughs> I, I was uh, in the kitchen today, about 7 o'clock tonight, 7.30, 8 o'clock maybe. Yeah. There was a couple sitting at the bar, one lone couple. I walked, and, and a server, one of my cooks, and the bartender, I walk up to the bar. Bartender looks at me and says, Matt, do you hate Jews? <laughs> yeah. I said, yes. Yeah. And walked away. Yeah. There's no point in lying if you're gonna. The bartender and the server in question were both Jewish, and I suspect one of the of the couple yeah. were also Jewish. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> if you need a new job, we can you know, we'll work something out. Maybe. No, no, I've. I mean, you know, that's the one thing. I've. Uh, that's the one thing that can get you can't real real like shit can hardcore. I, I I'm not gonna get shit can. I know, but isn't that the strangest thing? I actually, I saw this in a, in a sticker pack on Telegram the other day. And uh, yeah, I can't remember if it's like somebody holding a sign or whatever. Or if it's even just the text. And it says, <laughs> and this is, of course, all of this is performance art. Um, but but the pack says uh, something to the effect of, imagine being so heinous and awful, you have to have laws Loves. against hating you. Yeah. You know, it's one of those, it's like a 4chan meme. But it's it, it really, it kind of, it's, I mean, like you can you can go out in the public square <coughs> right now, and 
you will uh you will get canceled for it, no doubt. But mm-hmm. you can say without penalty slavery in the United States didn't happen. And in certain parts of the country you might actually get killed. That's another matter. Mm-hmm. But in some countries, if you say the Holocaust didn't happen, independent of whether both of those things happened. <laughs> but it's like you can go to prison for it, for saying it, for voicing an idea. I mean, that's what it means to live in a socialist, democratic society. Well, is that the mob rules? No, I know, I know. Somebody. So I, if you can convince the mob of a certain thing, mm-hmm. that a certain thing may or may not ha- that may or may not have happened, <laughs> indeed happened, or indeed, or that didn't. a certain thing that happened but was almost inconsequential yeah was a huge deal Mm. like january 6th ah yeah yeah exactly yeah or one hundred and fifty thousand dying of typhus (laughs) at the end of a war or 80 million votes or 81 million votes. Yeah. <laughs> is it, wait, is it, is it climbing? Is it now? Is it like, the oh, yeah, no, he, no, he, yeah, it's, just, it, yeah, the numbers keep on going up. Yeah, exactly. Another, another five, 10 years, they'll be like, dude, he won by 90 million votes. You guys realize? This? Yeah. <laughs> now, I got into that with somebody this week about democracy, and I was like, democracy, d- democracy does not exist. It's not a thing. The, Thomas, no, democracy. Thomas Jefferson is, said it's a mob democ- rule. Yes, it's mob rule. That's what I'm saying. It does exist, and that's what we're under now. <laughs> well, but this, is who, the, whoever can convince the most amount of retards to move in one direction <laughs> controls the entire game. And that's what it is. Um, and, and so, well, I mean, I, I, I'm wanting to bring Twitter into it, but like, we don't have to go there yet. I mean, we're going to get there. But the, <coughs> the amount of hyperbolic freaking out mm, yeah. in the past 24, 48 40 hours, hours 48 yeah. hours. Yeah, is I, is just it's it's ridiculous. But think about this. Let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna zoom all the way out. Let's look at it from from the planets on mm-hmm. which we reside. <laughs> These people, and 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 all of this opinion and all of this rage on both sides of this 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 uh, both weird sides little both sides yeah like the one hundred percent the people the people cheerleading a uh, yay Elon but gonna th- but think about gonna this. tear down Twitter. No, you're just as dumb. Yeah. You're just as fucking dumb. Yeah. As the person who's like, no, it's standard democracy. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. And, but, Spaceman but bad. All of, the, all of this anger and all of this rage is over something that, because I, I, I zoomed out for myself, because I, I deleted my Twitter a year ago, maybe, maybe more. I, I can't mm-hmm. remember when I did it. Um, And I had a huge number of tweets. As a matter of fact, here's to stroll down Twitter memory lane. I joined in 07. When people were still doing a majority of tweeting via SMS, via sending a text message to Twitter's shortcut. Okay. So, so that's when I got on Twitter. Uh, by the time I got to college, Lindenwood University, I sat mm-hmm. in a uh, uh, public relations class. He had 10,000 dumb fucking thoughts posted publicly on Twitter. No, no, no I, it was like, it was like 18,000 by that point. And I sat in class. Oh, you t- swing oh, and a miss. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. It's, it's, don't look down on that. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, I mean, looking back on it we, now. That's what we all did. It, uh, yeah, yeah. It's true. Yeah, but dumb as fuck. Yeah. And I realized that and deleted it. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, and I sat in the college class and they're like, okay, so uh, the first week's assignment is, is for everybody in the class to go create a Twitter account. Because it's like this social media class, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, good. I, I just already got one. You just had to put it in a Google sheet for her to pull up in class, you know, because they, they she, she was going to pull up each one, and <laughs> and it was, yeah, that yeah. could not be done in a, today's classroom. Well, or could it? It, Anyways, it, it could be, but it, like not. It's like, <laughs> hey, here's a group project. Yeah, no, yeah, no, hundred. Not if you're just going organic. Even still, especially now with Daddy Elon in charge, it's all free again. Um. <laughs> But that did the teacher pulled up mine and and, and like everyone was like, Are, how do you have sixteen thousand tweets or whatever it was by that point, mm-hmm. uh, double digits thousands, <laughs> and, and I was like, I mean, I've been on for a while. <laughs> Same thing with Pinterest. Like when they were like, oh, you, you got to get a Pinterest account. I was like, yeah, I've already had one for a long time. Um, but all of this anger and all this rage about Daddy Elon is based on something that's. 
a database. It's a JSON file of ones and zeros of bullshit that mm-hmm. people have looked into a square and thought and just spit out into it. someone else's database that we don't even own. Mm-hmm. And that's what this argument of public and private and Elon's taking it private and supposedly taking it in another direction. It's like, this is, it, it's like that clip from Wolf of Wall Street that I like that's been applied to so many memes. It's like, it's fucking fairy dust. It doesn't exist. It's not fucking real. Like, it's just, it's baffling to me. Because that's all they, because I'm on Instagram for business. And I'm seeing every account posting something about this. You know, in their opinion, their, their little hot take about why it's a good or a bad thing. And this shit doesn't exist. Elon Musk. Elon Musk is Tony Stark on screen for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all he is. And he's an actor who plays that role Mm -hmm. very well. Yeah. It's just. It just, just (laughs) shit's getting ridiculous. It's just, it's just getting ridiculous. I mean. And and yeah. And he plays that occult actor, you know, Mm -hmm. who who was playing the role on stage. Invented by L. Ron Hubbard. And Jack Parsons and all these other fuckers. Playing the role on stage well, that's been around since time immemorial, right? You get the mummers together and then they pretend to they stage a production of uh, a sacrifice to the gods of springtime or yeah. the gods of the harvest. Yeah. Now, it's really what we're witnessing again on a, on a grand scale. And it's it's quite frightening because Christians have no concept of that at all. Like they would listen to that and just be, oh well, you know, eh, whatever. Yeah. But it's like, no, there, there's there's a spiritual component happening here. Mm-hmm. Um. As a matter of fact, maybe I'll end up cutting this out. I don't know. Um. But somebody very close to me, uh, recently went to the hospital because they're they're very elderly and couldn't get out of bed. Mm. Um. And. A, a member of their family came over and the first thing that this person did, and this person is a diabetic, like I said, very, very old. Like, so this is not super surprising that he couldn't get out of bed one day because mm-hmm. of some pain, whatever. He didn't have any trouble breathing. There were no symptoms, quote unquote. Right. So somebody in his immediate family comes over and the first thing they do is give him a COVID-19 test. Very first thing. not. How's your blood sugar? How's, have you eaten today? Are you hydrated? Cholesterol? The myriad of other things that could contribute to this. Did you remember to take your meds? Odd man, precisely. This 80-something odd man that can't get out of bed. The first thing they do is give him a COVID test. And it comes back negative, no COVID. Right? Mm. So immediately they give him a second one. See, they fucked up because the first thing they should have done <laughs> was put a mask on him. Exactly. Exactly. Well, this person may have. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, listen to what I'm describing. And this, this is what I was explaining to people in my family. I was like, that, that is, and I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be anything. But, but that kind of behavior from somebody, you know, that we know <laughs> is, like, is. Why would you do that, though? Why would you do that? that? Exactly. Why would you? You can't make sense of it. I tried to with my wife the other night. You can't make sense of it. What if they just didn't want to take care of him? I- <laughs> and then in the back of their mind, like it, if he tests positive for COVID. Then I can call the hospital. Then I can just say, oh, we'll call the hospital. Yeah. It's a COVID patient. Take him straight to the hospital. Yeah. Then it's no longer, hey, I have to help him out of bed. Wash him because he probably soiled himself or whatever or whatever. Yeah, okay, yeah. make sure he's fed. Make sure he's rehydrated. Make sure he's, this isn't going to happen again. So, like with the super narcissistic, just <laughs> nah, I don't want to do all that. <laughs> Maybe have to sleep over on a permanent basis. Maybe move him in with you. Yeah, or pay for a retirement or hospice care. Yeah, like what? What loophole did we open in society by saying, "Oh, COVID, you're yeah, in the quarantine under, under this umbrella"? Yeah. You are now the system's problem because just simply because COVID. Yeah. Yeah. This mythical disease. And this lets me out of <laughs> this thing that I need to do. You. Yeah. Which my blood screams for me to do, mm-hmm. which is take care of my dying relative. Yeah. 
do not abort my child in my womb, right? The blood screams, you must not do this. Yeah. Take care of the land. Protect your 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 children. Right? Yeah. Teach them yourself. Like like everything about us as as, as people says to do this. says to do that. Yeah. But the fourth industrial revolution and its consequences as, means yeah. that we have, have slowly given away uh, our, yeah, du- our, really, our, du- our duties to convenience. It's really F when you put it that way. I mean, but you're not wrong. You're 100% not wrong. Yeah. But I explained to my wife, you know, and I, I, and I actually, you know, mentioned, you know, or referenced back to that, the comment that Adam Curry made on the, on the Glenn Beck interview. Mm-hmm. About, and it's something that we've said. It's not groundbreaking by any means, probably not for our audience either. But, you know, this idea of spells. And I was like, because look at that. This, this, this person's behavior is that modified by this messaging of all of this bullshit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that that's how they behave when an elderly man simply can't get out of bed and has no other symptoms of difficulty breathing. None of that. Doesn't, yeah. doesn't so much as have a sniffle. And yet, that's the behavior that that has been applied by this messaging. I mean, that is that. I is, mean, that's as simple as in. I mean, I'm a, I'm almost forty, and I, I'm telling you what: if I sleep with my neck yeah. in a different position, oh yeah, it's a minute for my shoulders. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, the that's the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're eighty, I know. It's but that's that's that also could, due to our Western diet. That could I'm, be two I'm or three degrees gonna... of your hips like being if we offline. Were out punching cows, Matt, we'd be a lot healthier. We'd be a lot sexier. Yeah. I mean, you know, but we're not. We could we could go down to Main Street and punch some cows right now. It's <laughs> on a Tuesday night, you know they're down there. Everything is sex. No. It's... Like they got more heifers down on Main Street than the stockyard right now on a Tuesday night. It's, you kidding me? Oh man. It's fat I girl can't heaven. Even imagine. I used to drive down there and, and just like in marvel at what I would see. Yeah. Um when I lived down there. And, you know, on the way home, you know, it'd be late, you know, I'd be coming home from work and I'm like, ah, just cruise down there. And like, and I remember even, even th- cause that, that was what, three, four years ago now. Um, the, the police presence alone is enough mm-hmm. to let you know, like this, this is like, what the hell are you doing here? Yeah. I mean, and, and it's not even against having a drink or any of that, like whatever. But like, man, when the when the joint you're going to looks like that, like, just get the hell out. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, I saw I saw I saw a clip out of South Carolina. Mister Guns and Gear p- posted on Telegram. Um, the South South Carolina Little League game, just Little League T ball, and something like 30, 40 rounds go off like in the parking lot next to the F and T ball game. And you you can hear it on camera. It's just like pow 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 pow, pow. like. There's some kind of fucking gun battle next to this T-ball game, <laughs> and uh, and it's like, man, this is okay. So this, 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 we get to watch the American experiment collapse marvelously, and yeah. and, and for that, you know, I'm grateful. But but man, oh man, we got to really start thinking about where you're located and and what you're involved with, and because this is this it's getting it's getting hairy out there, man. I ran across I ran across this channel on YouTube called I think it was like a- Active Self Protection or something like that, and he he talks from a point of view. Basically, he analyzes like body cam footage, okay, or and and like CCTV and stuff that people send him uh, involving firearms, and of like and, and of he like random just oh, oh, carry. you went from like ho hum to now I have to pull my weapon. It, yes, so armed robberies, um, a lot of a lot of body cam footage from cops. Mm-hmm. And a matter of fact, there was this one because it just popped up in the YouTube algorithm, and I really, I really try and avoid doing that because that's how they, they fucking zero. Yeah, in. Oh yeah, that's a, the, mm-hmm. they, they zero in more. YouTube has me broken. I'm telling but you. I, <laughs> but I, but I clicked on this video, and it, dude, it was like, it wasn't even like inner city somewhere, but, but it was these two, uh, <clears throat> gentlemen, and and just in an open gun battle with cops, just over. Like stealing like a handful of OTC meds at at a CVS, and it's just it's just bizarre. Like you know, hundreds of rounds exchanged between the two of them, in in the parking lot of a CVS. It's like it's like man, this is this is 
there's a lot of guns in America. And, and while I do think that that could somewhat, you know, we could possibly water the, the parched tree of Liberty, uh, with the blood of tyrants, but, but on the flip side, like (laughs) the cities are, are, oh man. I mean, just with the drugs and the, and the guns and the, uh, the gangbangers are getting real bold. You know, I think we should, we could do a lot of good if we like, maybe one, I don't know, maybe you're going to ban. You can correct me on this because I, you, you know, a lot more about guns than I do, but wouldn't it be a good law to like, be like, yep, you get caught with a gun illegally 20 years in prison. Boom. Um, No question. No, because the problem is like, well, what's your definition of legal? Because now the tyrants are defining that. And they're going to say, well, that's probably your thumbprint, you know, your eye print, your mm-hmm. whatever, whatever. It's a gun that has no trace to you. Right. There's no documentation saying this is your gun. Those are the kind of guns you want. Those are the only kind of guns I have. <laughs> now, fuck the feds. I okay. <laughs> okay. Mean, yeah, I just, I don't, it's, I've done that. Okay. I've second that. Provo- second rule I'm proposing. Gun <laughs> okay. rule. Okay. okay. Let's yeah. go. All right. I, I, I've i stepped on your toes. Yeah. Hango's probably, his, jim, oh, Jimmy's, he, I'm Jimmy's sure. are a little rustled right now. I'm getting a text Let me walk right it back. now as he's okay. listening. Yeah. Absolutely zero <laughs> rules about guns okay. with one there, exception. There you go. <clears throat> Black people can't own them. Boom. Roasted. Uh, it sounds like a fine, fine argument to me. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, no, there's this guy, dude. I should show you clips of this. He he always and he's in every time I pull up, I pull up the uh uh the YouTube app, you know, and it recommends these there's shorts half now. A joint in there. Because yeah. Oh, that's not half a joint. There's nothing in there. Yeah, here he is. Here he is. Okay, so we're 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 gonna watch this fucking guy. Every time I pull up YouTube, he is mentioned in my shorts here. And 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 it's just because I've seen a lot of gun shorts. This guy, I believe he calls himself Black Rambo. And <laughs> this this is the kind of content that YouTube recommends you if their algorithm knows you like guns. Okay? For Matt and everybody to see. <laughs> hey, hey, got what? I hear something, something. What it was? Zero yeah, seven. I don't even do this shit. On first try, you did. Give me one Give me that gun. Let me show you what that combat master do. One more. Let's go. One more. One more. One more. One more. I'm just going to go for it. Stand by. Come on, give me this shit. Woo! Come on, 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 <laughs> Even a blind squirrel can find a nut. Five eight hey, after hey, a one twelve. Hey, 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 ain't nobody hey, tell me shit. Nobody did shit. That's what I'm talking about. Someone get him on the ass. I'm just gonna do what I do in the bathroom. I never left your side. I'm gonna do what I do in the bathroom. Try to fight. And that's Black Rambo. <laughs> do you have an English translation? Don't be rude. <laughs> rude. <laughs> For context. Got it. Man, the big homie DG47 said, Rambo, you can't leave here without shooting mines. I said, man, let me rock that right quick, man. Let me put my hands on it. Let me bless this right quick. So I'm going to bless it. And you know me. He already showed me. He already showed me sighted in. So I want to see if she run, you heard me? I want to see if she run. Kicking back a little bit. I had to turn her sideways. I had to get gangster with it. I love this. She's nice, though. She's nice, girl. She's nice. That wasn't even fucking cool. Imagine, if you will, (laughs) going to the range. (laughs) This is why I go first thing in the morning. (laughs) If If I'm going to a range. Walmart's the same way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I've seen this guy before. I, I think I've seen his very first video. It's possible. Which is super famous on 4chan. On K. It's of this 
dude at this back you you could tell it's like you know a backyard gun range right yeah. just a two by four and plywood table set up in front right yeah and he he has an an AK forty seven and he's shooting it off like from the hip yeah and like being like real dramatic about it and then he goes through the magazine he drops it <laughs> like muzzle first on the ground okay which is like asking to asking to fuck up your rifle right yeah and then he pulls a gun out of his out of his waistband and he starts shy, side shooting it while hopping kind of backwards like i don't i don't know if you've seen I, this i'm sure that's possible that that's him it it's the same dude it's Black the same Rambo. dude and i think he he saw that and millions of white people were like look at this <laughs> Look at well, this dude with a gun. Well, YouTube certainly recommends his content constantly, and it's always a displeasure when I happen to click on it. <laughs> but anyways, I guess I can head to Twitter now that it's fixed. Yeah, and yeah, you just dog on him on Twitter, and yeah. it won't be racist. Exactly. Because Daddy Elon is there. Daddy Elon, exactly. It's, a, it's such a con, man. It's like... And then they don't even wait. They don't even wait. As soon as as it's it's, it's announced, forty four billion. Elon's gonna buy Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> the board voted unanimously. Obama, Obama, not Biden. <laughs> Obama, in a speech, says we need to revisit revisit Section Article two thirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the EU just passed sweeping legislation about some of that stuff too, you know. And so it's like about oh, censorship online. Like you're not even. It's just it's it's cloak and dagger. It well, not even that. It's just bread and circuses. It's, no, it's theater. It's theater. It's literal theater. Act one, scene two. I mean, this is this is just. I mean, and yet, like I said, people people even as strong as their opinions might be on that, and like I said. You know, joined in 2007. Like I, I got it for a real long time, but it's like you, your your rage is about something that doesn't exist, that is run by a series of symbols on a magical device that you hold in your hand, and then and then, over over technology and infrastructure you don't understand. Yeah, and for you the- to worship and put all your time and intention into this thing that doesn't exist. Is nothing but a little square on your device. <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. And people think we're getting out of this. <laughs> and and it, it lets Silicon Valley Donald Trump, which yeah. is what Elon is, yeah, come in. And now all of a sudden, the government has to step in. And the end game is to get rid of Telegram, mm-hmm. get rid of rid of Gab, yeah. Maybe not even get rid of them. No, but just, yeah, completely but just sequester, completely beyond belief. censor them. Like you cannot, like it's um, not going to get shared anywhere. It's not going to get. Yeah, oh, um, yeah, yeah. Imagine, no, with, I could absolutely imagine Telegram that. with you know because they're just calling Twitter it information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Precisely, precisely. Where channels get banned for you know things that aren't breaking the law, mm-hmm. or that you know. Dark days, buy chickens. Meanwhile, <laughs> I have so many. Uh, so many. No one's. I don't even know what's going on with just Lane Maxwell trial. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. Um, but you know what's going on with Johnny Depp? Someone shit the bed. <laughs> it was tragic. I believe that it was her. I believe she shit the bed. Uh, <laughs> Women so can, it was it was liquor. awful when I realized that <laughs> life was imitating the Simpsons. Yeah, and maybe that's because you know we gave so much of our earball earballs to it, like yeah. just watching it. It just manifests memeing it into reality. We manifested our it ourselves. Yeah, but you know, life is becoming an episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia, <laughs> which is markedly worse. <laughs> yeah. Than the actual episode. Because there is no wholesome all American family. Yeah. Like traditional small town. Mm-hmm. 
with just some weirdos who are there for comic relief. No, it's dark. Yeah. The day in, ends a blackout. The morning <laughs> begins with no hope. It's always <laughs> sunny in Philadelphia. Like, yeah. Uh, it's a, who pooped the bed? Who pooped the bed? Yeah. It's, I'm, I know, man. My chick, we got to return to the woods. We have to. We have to. I did, think it's did, the most did, sensible Did you thing. see the clip of, of, of <laughs> Johnny Depp where the, the lawyer is asking him? He's like, <clears throat> would you say you are physically larger oh, yeah, here, than Miss Heard? I'm going to play it, yeah. I sent it to my wife. Are you, have I seen it? Matthew. <laughs> Correct. Physically. I wouldn't say that. And he's just a little smirk yeah, exactly. when he says it, yeah. after he says it. No, he's yeah. a good actor, man. Oh, he's, he's fantastic. Why wouldn't we be entertained by watching Johnny Depp? N- ninth I Gate. I mean, my God, no wonder they're streaming it live. Are you kidding me? The Ninth Gate, an incredible movie. I've, I don't think I'm familiar. I was thinking more like Fair and Loathing in Las Vegas. Great film. It's a movie about this guy who goes on a quest for this old book. I can't stop book. here. This is bat country. Old book. <laughs> then is able to decipher it, and he finds out that the girl he's been, like, who's been the mystery figure the whole time, was actually the devil, and he was going through this dark occult ritual to help the devil manifest in reality. My goodness. What's the name of the film? The Ninth Gate. The Ninth Gate. Probably like 98. It's rated R. Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying not to watch evil stuff. I, I mean, it's... <laughs> it At the time, I was like, wow, this is a weird, creepy horror movie. Yeah. I, I watched it a couple of years ago. I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. That, mm, mm-hmm, yeah. That's how it happens. <laughs> Motherfuckers get going after old manuscripts, and all of a sudden, they summon in the devil. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Tale as old as time. That's facts, yeah. No, man, if you really think about, like, what symbols are, like, and I know, I know it's not necessarily, I don't say this. What's it, the Twitter bird? It, well, I was just, because right? I was, you know, the rant that went on Twitter a, a second ago had me thinking about that, the Twitter bird. But I was thinking, like, if you really think about symbols, like, that, that's, <laughs> it's one of those things where, you know, obviously you can't go down, like, you know, Q-Tard Alley, where it's like, you know, well, oh, this gematria and this n- numerical, like, you, you could get. It's too granular and you lose the point. But, but just think, think about, about what symbols are. Well, like about that, all that attention to Twitter. Like and, what the blue check mark on Twitter means. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Like, okay, so this person this person is telling me the truth. Yeah. Even if I disagree with it, yeah. It's still telling me the truth because it's been verified by Twitter. Yeah. And the hive mind thinks, you know, the and retards that's a sad that's a sad The retards voting for Biden voting for Biden. Yeah, thinks that that means a okay, good to go. And people, I think people just in general, um, really underestimate the power of Twitter because the viral tweets thing, right? A screenshot of a tweet is worth far more than I mean the platform itself. That's where yeah. the reach is in terms of ideologies that come off. It's it's I mean for yeah. better or for worse. Like just, those are the well, just like TikTok has invaded. Yeah, the Facebook two, yeah. and YouTube and yeah. Instagram and and Reddit and everything else. Like, yeah. f- what ten years ago? Yeah, seven eight years ago, Twitter was, you know, um, infesting Facebook and Reddit mm-hmm. and all these other with places. The, just those screenshots, with just screenshots and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now there's this big uh, well, I, and I guess war I, over I, it. It's, it and, and I mean. It's often said that the left can't meme. Mm, it is. But what if it's just they're not <laughs> they're not smart enough to meme with pictures? They can only meme with words. Oh. That's why Twitter is so important. Yes. Because of that very thing. It's the one place where they can meme. And it just be words. As lo- it, it just as words. Yeah. Because you can create a context and a world and ideology out of just words. Yeah. But if you pair that with images from actual reality, you see how it's juxtaposed. So the the words, the tweet, that's the narrative, the story. Hmm. And if since you can't back up your narrative and story with real world video or images, 
well, it's juxtaposed. It's it's it, it clashes with each, it, itself, right? So you see the meme for what it is, and which is just a, a denial of reality. So they either have to have 144 characters or 16 panel cartoons, <laughs> comics. Yeah. In order to get their message across. Yeah. Hmm. It's an interesting theory. Or maybe I'm just high. I don't know. It's possible. Uh, did you see this going around uh, from Jack, the Jack Dorsey, the founder of Twitter? Mm-mm. No longer CEO. No longer, I believe, involved with the company. Well, he hasn't been CEO for a long time. Right. Uh, he's on to Square and Cash App and Bitcoin. Like he's, you know, he, he's, he is a, a financial technocrat. I'll tell you that much. Like Bitcoin exists because of this guy. I, I mean, not quite, but he's, he's one of these cats. Anyways, so this was going around and he, he tweeted, Elon's goal of creating a platform. This is two separate tweets here that I'm going to read through. And it's the last line that is so bizarre. <laughs> Elon's goal of creating a platform that is, quote, maximally trusted and broadly inclusive is the right one. This is also at Paraga's goal, that's the current CEO, and why I chose him. Thank you both for getting the company out of an impossible situation. <laughs> this, I know, I know. Hold on, hold on. It gets better. <laughs> this is the right path. I believe it with all my heart. In principle, this is one like right after that. Oh my God. It's and, just the messaging service. I know. I know. It's just about the messaging. Mm-hmm. In principle, I don't believe anyone should own or run Twitter. It wants to be a public good at a protocol level, not a company. Solving for the problem of it being a company. However, Elon is the singular solution that I trust. I trust his mission to extend the light of consciousness. So, (laughs) I know. What kind of Kabbalistic fucking bullshit is that? Okay. You, I know, short I know. term. You want me to, you want me to short read term. you again? Or send it to you? Yeah. Start, start, start from the beginning. <laughs> I'll interrupt you when I, when, I need, when I want to make a point. There's a lot to unpack here in there. Elon's, create, Elon's goal of creating a platform that is, quote, maximally trusted and broadly inclusive is the right one. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is also at Paraga's goal and why I chose him. Uh huh. Thank you both. For getting the company out of an impossible situation. Stop. <laughs> I was going to say, there it is. Uh, what do you got for us? Okay, so it sounds to me... <laughs> what do you think he's referring to, though? It sounds to me like they were Broadly. like like everyone was about to find out... Oh, that they hugely... That Twitter is nothing but robots. <laughs> so you're going to say... It's like, so- it's just algorithms tr- tweeting and retweeting. Yeah. And that, that also... <laughs> That Twitter has, and uh, this probably won't hit the light of day to uh-huh. anybody, but yeah. Twitter has a network of private accounts similar to mm. the way Telegram works. Yeah. Like, you're never going to be able to find it by searching. Yeah. But if I send you a link, because I know you're into the same stuff I am, <laughs> you can find it. Right. So what do you think that that kind of stuff needs to be? Yeah. That isn't publicly searchable. Yeah. That's on those servers. Yeah. It's quite possible, man. I it's, mean, it's, it, it's, it is it's on all or, those platforms, or, or they're just about to be it's revealed nice. that oh, it's worthless. Yeah, and there come th- then there goes number one. Well, no one wants to be on a platform that's fucking worthless. No, yeah. if it's not you know being traded on the you know uh, half of what makes Apple popular is its stock price. No, yeah. is the fact that it's a valued commodity and people see it as the the top tier of having a cell phone yeah. or any other product electronic hardware and that has been apple's that's how they've done business for the past 20 plus years mm-hmm. is being the premium and and desire what was the price of their first computer you remember uh, i think it was 666 dollars that, that was it yeah was it yeah. i think so yeah 
When when was that released? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, was it nineteen? I believe it was nineteen eighty four. Nineteen oh nineteen eighty four. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and well, it's just anyway. Yeah, it, it, so if all of a sudden it, Twitter stock price was sixty four dollars a share, and then uh, the next quarter it was five dollars a share. Yeah, somebody's gonna eat. Well, well yeah, it's but also bad. if if the company isn't valuable, then the the user base isn't going to consider it valuable. Therefore, they'll move on to something else. Yeah. And when I said the messaging earlier, continue. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Impossible situation. This is the right path. I believe it with all my heart. In principle, I don't believe anyone should own or run Twitter. There you go. There you go. (laughs) Another good stopping point. The the messaging. Uh Uh-huh. Now, why would you need a failing platform that that is has to pay the piper? Right, because you've had you you you've had TikTok and all these other people who have run ramp shot over you the past two years. Yeah, as far as popularity, as the, that instant, yeah, infinitely and, scrollable and you, video feed. There are people within the company with influence who are saying, "Prove it to me, right. prove it to me that you're viable." Okay, like that. I mean, yeah. That happens. Plus, they have a lot of other scandals and a lot of uh, people that hate them for a lot of different reasons. Yes, they've because have, of all the censorship. Twitter has a lot of enemies. Yeah, so they do. how do we protect the stock price? Number one, <laughs> in order to number two retain users yeah. through whatever upcoming storm is coming up, hmm. we have. Oh, Mister Tech Billionaire, <laughs> he has a quarter of a trillion dollars, right? Of yeah. the government money that the government gave him. <laughs> For their government projects, so they could, pl- so he could play a part and be, you know, be the face. Yeah, he could, Tony he could Stark. be Tony Stark. Yeah, look what you could be. We spent twenty years messaging Tony Stark as this g- misunderstood this good guy, genius. superhero. Yeah, are you kidding me? It fits like hand in glove. Yeah, yeah. like clockwork. Yeah. So now Tony Stark is buying Twitter <laughs> to protect Twitter's stock price, so that the main messaging system. Yeah. Of the alt left, radical Marxist, yeah. in this country, right, still has the same the pedo normalizers, the the same strength of voice, yeah. If AOC <laughs> had half a million followers instead of ten million or whatever she has, right, there's would, a lot of people that still think a lot of that is would made people care? Fuck up too. Oh, it is, it is. But would people care as much? Yeah. If only a hundred thousand eyeballs every day were seeing what Nancy Pelosi interns <laughs> typed on Twitter for her as she slurred through her fourth <laughs> vodka of the day at eleven thirty five in the morning. Don't be rude. Would we care as much about <laughs> Nancy Pelosi, you know? Right. Yeah. So and especially if the New York Times couldn't publish a tweet. And this is the the paramount point. Yeah. If the New York Times and WAPO and CNN and MSNBC and all these others hmm. couldn't post a tweet of some dumb fucking leftist comedian <laughs> ha- having a um a a quip at Ted Cruz and it had eighty thousand retweets right and two hundred thousand likes. Mm-hmm. If it didn't, if it instead had five hundred retweets, right, and four thousand likes, which are the only real ones, <laughs> yes, yeah, would that quip or whatever would that carry as much weight? Yeah, with their point. audience, no, it would not. It's not like you mentioned before. It's about that that screenshot of the tweet, yeah, and the the number of uh, likes and retweets underneath of it, and how that reinforces the oh. A million people on on social media Saw think this. this is right. Yeah, I think that's right too. Because <laughs> that's what the, what a coincidence. That's what the tribe thinks. Yeah, and we live in in an age of feminized men and women as leaders. So it's not about what's right or what the end. What you should do for yourself. It is about about the best thing for the tribe. 
And even if the tribe thinks something that is wrong, my chances of survival are because I'm weak I go or a female yeah. are better if I go along with it because safety in numbers. And that is hardwired into biology. Yeah. And that's not something you can change. That's why women will always tend to vote a certain way and men tend to vote a, 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 another way. Mm -hmm. Why women tend to take certain actions and men take, tend to take other actions. Repeal the 19th and this all goes away. It all goes away. It all goes away. <laughs> Let's continue on here. Where were we? Uh, in principle, I don't believe anyone should own or run Twitter. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're going to stop me after this one, too. It's the second one that's really. It wants to be a public good. It. <laughs> at a protocol level. It wants. Not a company. To be. I know. I a know. public good at a protocol level. That's what I'm saying. This is a monster that they built. I think it's I think it's a D-Wave computer that runs the whole fucking thing, and there's like two purple-haired people at the door for show. I mean, what are the chances here? It's fucking possible, people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it just is. It's not impossible. And that's all you need. I'll give that some thought. Uh, <laughs> do you want to say anything else about that? It wants to be. Yeah, it. I know. It. it. It's That's pretty. Not Twitter. Yeah. Or the user base. It. Yeah. It. Yeah. And it wants and, to be and, a and protocol. I'm telling, you, I'm telling you, you've seen Smithereens, that episode of uh, uh, Black Mirror, which I think is a direct, where Topher Grace plays what I think is a direct correlation to Jack Dorsey. Like, I need to I think, go watch I think that, that's who that they're ripping. Episode, it's, it's a great that, episode. I need to go watch that whole series again, I think. I mean, I don't know, man. If you're if you if you're struggling with bad headspace now, you know what? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna blow my brains out. You well, know that. No, I know that, but dude, that um, that'll they're all true, man. I hate to tell you, like it's it's gotten, you know. I like how the last one is also <laughs> well. Anyways, what I was like a saying, black woman, like the last uh, of the of, what were you talking about again? Black Mirror. Black Mirror. It's it's of a black woman looking over like the the weird and crazy things of society in like this bleak dystopian desert Future, yeah like she drives up to a random spot in the desert and mm -hmm. it's like black woman mm -hmm. looking over like i know just don't don't get into it it's i know it's the, prophetic um <laughs> no but what i was what i was gonna say was you know you know all of these guys are just like Topher grace in that smithereens episode you know where they have to go they have to go get him because he's completely off grid doing 40 days without any electronics, you know, mm -hmm. and you know that all these guys are down on acid and shrooms 24 seven. And they're the ones that are pushing ayahuasca. You can find ads for ayahuasca, literal ayahuasca on every one of these platforms, but mm -hmm. I get pulled if I put ads for CBD an anti-inflammatory compound that comes from hemp. Okay. Because these guys are all behind ayahuasca because they've all fucking done it and talked to these entities. And that's where they get these king plans and these ideas for, for what it wants to be. Talking about Twitter. Yeah. Right? I'm, I'm telling you. With, with, with a thousand percent certainty, that's what's going on. Um, well, maybe we've electrified Mother Nature to the point where she... <laughs> she's the, manifested that old, things. That old consciousness woke up and it realized, no, that the, the collective... Of the earth mm. that was symbiosis for so long, right? Yeah. Uh, the hive mind needs to take control again. Hmm. I don't know. Either way, either way, I don't think we're getting out without a big battle. <laughs> I'm, or, yeah, maybe, I'm, maybe one that Jesus is involved in, depending on how you read the whole thing. Polar, polar, <laughs> uh, polar ice, um, ice cap switch. I'm looking not too bad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I said that to Chris today. I was like, I was like, man, it'd be nice if we could just have an EMP. Just, just get it all over with. <laughs> then you fuckers can stop talking about Elon on Twitter because none of that'll exist. None of that. Ninety eight percent of people, if there was an EMP that knocked all this out, like, no, e Elon is not a person. Yeah, that's something that you've experienced through a screen, which is a digital cut of him that was a story you heard once it's a upon a time simile. it's exactly it's a story you want you once heard you heard once upon a time for 99.999 percent of people on the planet it's so stupid anyways solving for the problem of it being a company 
Oh yeah, not a company. Solving for the problem of it being a company, however. Elon is the singular solution I trust. What does that first part mean? Solving for the problem of it being a company, however. Like, it, 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 I mean... Oh, shit, nigga. We about to recognize Twitter as a, an, an, an entity. I mean, I, yeah. It's as a consciousness with rights. Now I that, guess he means, in, in relation to the sentence before that, he, he's, what he's saying is solving for the problem of it being a company when it should be this public good at a protocol level. Whatever that means. What it like means commodity. Well, it means, uh, like, it gets regulated and it's free for everybody, just like electricity. Or not free for everybody, but you have to pay for certain levels of admittance. Hmm. Solving for the problem. Elon is the singular solution I trust. I trust his mission to extend the light of consciousness. Now that's, what have you got for me on that one, Matt? <laughs> it goes back to the that. The singular, singularity, AI. To extend the light of consciousness. Now consciousness is not the individual. Consciousness is the hive mind. That's that. That is those last two sentences. That is what that means. Hmm. Which means Elon has already he's already synced with the hive mind, the consciousness. Oh yeah, it's AI is now that you know that that one tweet he had like eight years ago. He was like, you don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, and now he, oh Elon, no, I'm telling the you, consciousness if, hive mind will accept you as our Neo. You now have to merge with us. You will be the Messiah that that helps all of humanity come into the hive mind singular consciousness for world peace. And then, boom! He was like, "Okay, I'll be, I'll be your Neo, I'll be your Jesus." Right. And and then they gave him Grimes, and it was like, "Oh, now it was it's done all this deal, man. done deal." She's a fucking Satanist. And big, now, big time, now, big time. Yep. Now, hey, probably a very advanced one from the looks of it. Now he is charged with getting all the people who would normally be opposed, it. yeah, to this hive mind consciousness. Now you're, I uh, know. Now you are. Now you accept the AI. <laughs> You own nothing and be happy. And if you want proof of that, I've told several people this, but you can do this as an experiment. It's a several hour experiment because I believe each episode is two, three hour, you know, however long they went. Watch his first appearance on Joe Rogan. He's very dour. He's very upset. He just, he's upset the entire episode and he's talking about how, I mean, he spends a big portion of it talking about what a danger AI is and unlocking that and what that means for humanity. And I tried to warn people. That's all he talks about. Mm. You know, broadly speaking. And then his second one is like, hey, we're working on Neuralink and it's cool as shit, man. Yeah. So that pretty much tells you everything you need to know about Elon. I, I, I actually, speaking of this, it was only because all this shit was going on. I broke into a rant on Sunday on the way home from church. As any good father should. Uh, my son looked over and he's like, dad, look at Tesla right next to us. And I sped up to get away from it. And I, and then I started in on a rant about, and I was like, I was like, yeah, that's stupid things. Taking pictures of, of everything on the road all the time. And I was like, and where do you think that goes? Everybody's you, you, you think I'm kidding. You think I'm kidding. It has, it, it has no, so I know, many cameras I know, I know. in order to drive itself. And where do you think all that's going? Because I guarantee you every stupid fucking schlub that has one of those things Clicked agree the minute they booted it up. They don't give a shit what those terms say. Yeah. Those terms could say at any point, Elon can come into your home and ass rape your wife, and they all clicked agree because of how cool the Tesla is. It's the hall monitor of the highways. And, uh, bro, bro. <laughs> yes, it Episode is. Episode title, market. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hall monitor of the highways. Yeah. Um, but you know what I mean? It's like uh-huh. th- this this motherfucker and and you know his uh uh Tesla Tesla's very popular in China. They have a lot of Teslas in China. Mm. And China does an, a a a whole lot of business with Elon Musk. He gets they get them uh him a lot of well first he has a gigafactory over there and um they get him a lot of the resources that he needs to jam pack into these electric lithium, tracking yeah, lithium, devices yeah. that he puts in on all of us. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. I'm telling you, when you drive by one of those things, you're on the fucking grid. They've solved crimes from Tesla cameras before. Look it up. 
I'm telling you, man, he is building the grid or, or what he thinks to be the grid with his, with his star length that he's passing off to Zelensky. And it's such a big story about what a great humanitarian hero he is because anytime Zelensky asks, he just puts up more satellites so the Ukrainian people can still look at fucking TikTok, man. Right? And he's, 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 so he has Starlink, he has the skies, which he can, he can bypass what earthly governments want with Starlink. He has, he has a network of vehicles collecting, not only collecting, but sending and receiving data 24-7 on the roads of, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, every country in the world. Okay, that's what, also what Elon has access to from that data. Um, and now he, he's supposedly going to waltz in and uh, what fix Twitter and I don't know suck everybody's dick or something like this is this is laughable fantasy. Well, you heard it here, folks. Uh, uh, Elon is helping TikTokers in Ukraine, uh, LGBTQ TikTokers in Ukraine, fight yes, against yes. Nazis, little Nazis. Okay, <laughs> go to AlexJones.com, buy some sprouted mung bean protein powder paste. I've been on this protein powder paste, and I want to kill everyone around me. Are you guaranteed to boost testosterone all the time? AlexJonesShow.com. Are you saying that I've ascended? Then is my <laughs> or descended? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, <clears throat> to sum up, the great one. Everything I, we've been talking about. I actually about. have him tagged in my Google Photos. So if I want to find a particular Alex Jones meme or clip. I can just search Google Photos for Alex Jones. Fuck you. Fuck you. I got plenty of words for you, but at the end of the day, fuck you and your new world order. <laughs> the great one. Um, Elon Musk is a psyop. It's, it, it's pretty obvious at this point. So, well, however you fall I mean, if you on look either at side the of the... Thing. Well, okay, leave that up for a minute. But <laughs> however you fall on either side of the argument, it's pretty clear that the dude is military intelligence. He's a face on on a lot of things. And I think that... The New World Order. Just yeah. say it. Yeah. The I, New World Order. Because he is developing and pushing every single key aspect but of But as it. the Washington Post was for Bezos, like buy this dead asset and keep it relevant for us because it's part of our messaging system. Twitter is to Elon. Buy this dead asset. Keep it relevant by keeping it in the headlines. And it's going to fucking be in the headlines for the next year, dude. Oh, absolutely. You know it's going to be. Yeah, everybody he fires is going to be front page of the Times. Oh, they're going to be. Oh, oh all whistleblower. Over it. Yeah. People familiar with the matter. Documents. I, I'm, yes, of course, they're going to melt. Sources this. familiar with Elon's thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Right, which is the the demon AI at this point. Yeah, it's going to clog up the news cycle for it's the next year. It's laughable fantasy, man. It's and laughable it's, fantasy. It's, it's going to be one more fight. And just wait, just wait. You thought 2020 was bad in terms of a presidential election and what they decided to call misinformation? Now with this, this faux good guy hero owning Twitter? Oh, man. I mean, it's called setting the stage. Mm-hmm. <sighs> So you went to church the other day. <laughs> I did, what, yeah. what church did you go to? <laughs> uh, I went to a local church here in the area. Uh-huh. <laughs> you don't want to talk about You don't want to say its name, do you? Uh, it is Grace Church. Grace Church. STL? STL. I believe they call themselves, yeah. So I'm about to be the 300th. There it is. 300 upvotes. <laughs> 17 hours ago, posted to Reddit in our St. Louis. Oh, please don't. Serious warning. <laughs> All caps. Of course. It's Reddit. Apostrophe. I don't even need to say St. that. St. Louis could be one zealot or mentally unstable congregant away from real tragedy. Thousands digest this violent, extremist, and conspiratorial rhetoric at Grace Church STL every week. <laughs> and it has been intensifying. St. Louis should be very concerned. And there's a YouTube link. Oh, do tell. I didn't open the YouTube link because there are. Hold on. If it's short, I'd love to play it. If they sent a whole message, oh, you're not gonna... there are 353 comments so far. Okay, of course there are. Well, it's Reddit, you know. 
And 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 every week mm-hmm. for the past month or so. Yeah, he's been hitting. There's been a post in Reddit mm-hmm. about this church. Yeah. And I've been following it. Yeah. I expect hey, eleven o'clock, man. You're welcome to come. It's it's man, a hoot. Reddit hates this church <laughs> so much. Yes. Yes, they do. They really do. So the the, the one thing is uh, the first I guarantee comment the place is crawling with feds, man. Is about socialism. Jesus was a socialist. Okay. Oh, shut the fuck up. You're an idiot. And you have to scroll down. Yeah, okay, here's ten seconds. Okay. Something about oh, it's a cult. Mm-hmm. A bunch of other shit. <laughs> My favorite. This guy reads poll and believes all of it. <laughs> That's another well, great if comment. If only, if only he's way too friendly on the Jews. Tax the church. There's another one. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Uh, does this guy seriously believe this, or is he just grifting money? <laughs> Either way, my larger concern is the people behind the camera in the seat in the seats. We all work with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. There's no greater hate than Christian love. And and then there's a big thing about you know um, thirteen nine oh nine. And uh, 501c3s. Yeah. Um, oh, and they usually post They usually post the link in order to go complain. Yeah. Yeah, I pulled up the post and I see how long the YouTube is. That's only four minutes. The violent extremist and conspiratorial rhetoric of Grace Church. Oh, it's a compilation. Yeah, give it a listen. Well, why not? Headed right now into the final battle. The bullets are real. You know, there won't necessarily be Christian blood on every, the street of every city. But if, you know, we sit back and we surrender to tyranny right now, it, we will have it here. We will have it in St. Louis. The global elites are pushing us toward a new world order. They're calling it the Great Reset. The Big Reset. Great Reset. The Great Reset. The Great Reset. The Big Reset is code for you won't own anything, but we'll be in charge and you'll be happy. You won't own anything, and you'll be happy. We are headed into the greatest confrontation of good versus evil in human history. The oligarchs who control our government, big tech, big pharma, our democratic... Quickly, I like how most of these clips, it sounds like they're going to let one go here, but most of these clips they cut before everyone claps, because that's what they do after he says things like this, by the way. (laughs) Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, our left-leaning media, big tech politicians, our government, our schools, our media, our big tech, Wall Street, Antifa members, BLM members, Marxist educators, they're going to hate you, kill you. Not everybody, but enough people that it'll get the attention of the whole church. God's not pacifist. God is not passive about evil behavior and the anarchy groups like Antifa promote, which by the way, Their training facilities are in Ukraine. We're entering the final conflict. I believe literally we're entering that. Well, I woke up this morning hearing God say to me, don't try to compromise the truth to make it more palatable. When you start to speak the truth, you you guys know your family's not going to like it. There's a target on your back right now. You know, if your children are in a public school right now, they're going to come out hating America. Marxist educators who came to America when Hitler took over Germany. We got to rescue our kids from the clutches of left-leaning educators. I mean, these people are hell-bent on turning them into good little Marxists who would turn in their own parents. Marxist educators are brainwashing our children. We're in a Marxist takeover right now. You know, we are watching the left just try to take apart our country destroy every freedom that we've held sacred. A tsunami of changes that appear to be leading us toward totalitarian control. Totalitarian a tsunami. control. Corrupt totalitarian state. So that's his, uh, his violent and hateful rhetoric. It's a, like a five-minute clip somebody put together on YouTube. Isn't he great, though? Um, <laughs> yeah, kind of. I mean, you know, he sees through a lot of the bullshit, and that's what I'm about, man. That's how I put up with his ridiculously overproduced worship services. Ron, if you ever hear this, take it a step down, man. Just just one step. They're talented. I love it. But one step down. 
Anyways. Violent and hateful rhetoric, man. When can I expect to see you there? <laughs> I don't know. It's uh and like I said, I was tell I was actually telling somebody uh this past week. Um I was like, what's crazy is when he goes in on CRT, mm -hmm. which he does, <laughs> unsurprisingly, I'm sure might be some clips later on in there about that. Um it is the black folks that are clapping and cheering the loudest. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh it's really refreshing to see. Yeah. Actually, it's really I'm kind of like, okay. All right. <laughs> it gives me it gives me some hope. Because in a certain way, I mean, you know, obviously they're outnumbered and look at the way the populace thinks of them even like that Reddit post, but it's like it's because good to know people 99% of black people don't promote critical race theory. Mm -hmm. It's white liberal women in their 50s. <laughs> and most black people know that critical race theory is is not true. And especially the older black people know it's not true. Yeah. Because they look at the life that they've lived and what believing the lies mm -hmm. has done to them and their children and their children's children. Yeah. Yep. Believing the lies of welfare, of government assistance, mm -hmm. of public housing. Mm -hmm. A free lunch. A free lunch. Government cheese. Yeah. Uh, public schooling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Working for the man. Pop culture in general. <sighs> they, they see it. They know what's happened to it. Because they've had to watch, you know their niece or their nephew or their own sons and daughters or their grandchildren or their grandnieces and nephews make terrible, huge, fucked up decisions. And I think all old people feel this. It's not just the black blacks. people. Yeah, It's you're looking at your children and your grandchildren and seeing the mistakes they're making and realizing if you had done something different or had safeguarded something, or been more aware of the influences that the world was having on your family, you would have done things differently. Yeah. And I think it's, it's, it's maybe more of a stark realization for black people. Yeah. Well, cause they, because it's, they've been beaten the hardest by culture. Yes. Yes. Yeah. They've been victims of the culture. Way much, more, much more. Yeah. Than any other group yeah. demographic. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, we're all victims of their culture too. It's just. <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> but it's, it's. Now they've, they've taken a beating, man. It's because white people can identify with black people or black culture, excuse me. Right. That's presented in the mainstream. Mm -hmm. Black people have no choice, but to identify yep. with black culture in the mainstream. And when, especially you're young, a teenager mm -hmm. in your 20s, yep. the pull and the influence to identify with that culture, the peer pressure that's involved. And it's, it is so when satanic it's, when it's right not, now. When it's for a white kid or a Mexican kid, that's optional. You could be that if you want. But for a black kid, you have to be that. You, you have to be hip hop. Yeah. Yeah. In every movie. You have to every, be gangster. Yeah. Yeah. So. So the, the peer pressure is much, much greater. So why are we surprised that black teens have an incredibly high amount of crimes committed by that demographic than white teens? Yeah. Because they haven't been held hostage by their culture, quote unquote, mm -hmm. as much. Yeah. And whatever they're listening to, even over the past three, four generations, is telling them that message. So that's why black grandmothers... <laughs> And grandfather sitting in, in your church, when they hear this bullshit <laughs> about how blacks are suppressed, and that's the reason for all the problems in the black community, is because of oppression. Yeah. Rather than rather than being willful victims of the system. Mm. Like that's when that's and the culture. That and their that culture. That's that's why they buying they the applaud the culture the, the the loudest because they realize 
you know, that it's all fucking Tuskegee experiments. Oh, man. One after another, and a few MK Ultra ones in there, too. I mean, it, it 100% is, man. You look at the media and the culture. Like, we mentioned Grimes a second ago. Like, that was... I, I saw a pretty good post today where somebody put together a whole little thing about that, you know, because of what's going on. Mm-hmm. And, uh, man, she, she, that's, that is pure darkness, man. And he has two kids with her. And it's... I mean, it's just... Like some of her lyrics are, are you know, like submit, submit, submit to the machine. Like it's, yeah. <laughs> and given Jack's verbiage and Elon's behavior and his attitude towards uh, uh, AI over the past decade, if you really kind of zoom out and look at it. Yeah. Really makes you wonder. Really makes you wonder. Because I believe all that shit. <laughs> I believe, yeah, I 100% believe AI is 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 a huge problem. Because because it's just a matter of how much data you feed it. And and like I said, like look at the data that Elon has from Tesla, from PayPal, from <laughs> PayPal. He founded PayPal, man. I know, people I know. Yeah. I know. A lot, like, of people, it's, it's, a lot of people don't know that, but he a was a lot of people don't know that. That's how yeah. he got his start in And that's how he got his nut. Well to start I, off with. I and mean, then come he took on. that money and then transactions on the internet, monetary transaction on the internet. Right. He was the first one. Yep. Yep. But that wasn't a government op. No. No, definitely not. No. No, for sure not. The first large uh, platform. No. Why would to, you think that? For transactions, monetary yeah. transactions on the internet? That's not no. Oh, well, that was that was some nerd from South Africa. Yeah. The inter- well, the internet is all just cat pictures and us we're trying to stay connected. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Isn't it all true? Like, Matt, we can have conversations with people across the world. Imagine how we could share Jesus. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Like, I yeah, could talk to a guy in India. Is. Yeah. It's not all entirely run and even invented by the government. That's preposterous. Don't, why would, come on. Come on. DARPA takes public credit for it, but that doesn't mean any, that's just, that's just you know, who cares? It doesn't matter. Don't DARPA? You like, you... DARPA? More like LARPA. <laughs> ah, not real. Gay. And fake. Uh, point is, yeah, it really looks like Elon is is uh, stepping up to the plate to play a very interesting role in this 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 psychological operation known as the internet. Yeah, and if things can in fact emanate, whether that's online or whatever, uh, or in a metaverse or whatever you want to call it, um, from other places. It really looks like Elon is the guy to do that in terms of AI. Because like I said, you watch the first Joe Rogan, he's he's super cautious and super full of warning about this whole idea. Mm-hmm. And then after that, like I said, it's, hey man, I got a brain chip. I'm like, <laughs> uh, like, what? <laughs> I thought this was a bad idea. Go go back and watch him. Anybody anybody who questions this, this whole thing, the dude is bad news. You know? I've ranted enough. Thanks, Weed. Yeah, I'm good. It's midnight. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, bro. No, you're fine, man. I knew it was going to be a late one. It's my wife's fault. She got home late. And you know what? Um, Your wife is following her bliss. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't we all? I, I'm sort of doing that right here, right now. Spending time with people whose ideals and morals and the way they view the world are are shaped by Disney movies from the 1990s. Ooh. Careful. You you may be you may be salt in an open wound, man. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I mean any 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 because think about it. Yeah. Even with what I told you at the beginning, believe before we started recording about, you know, who recently canceled Disney Plus, like dude, like white bitches if they have half a brain cell left at mm-hmm. this point and they're able They to, don't they don't. Well, they don't. let's just let's just give them some credit. And and they're able- I, I start I tried to I tried to nothing <laughs> know, but rejection they but don't just, let's, and if they if they had two brain cells to rub together you just up the brain cells I already told you they had zero they're starting to realize <laughs> they're starting to realize that like the whole lie that Disney sells is um, bullshit <laughs> yeah like it's meant to make you unhappy yeah you know like that's gotta be hard to deal with. If all Disney know. bitches know is hate they parents, love the toxic guy. 
hundred percent, man. Disney's. I mean, you don't have to go into the start of that whole thing. No. All those homies were together, man. JPL, all that shit, all that shit. It's all one big fucking psyop. That's why mm-hmm. space space is fake. And if it's not, we still aren't supposed to be up there. We're supposed to look up and use it as a clock. It's very clear from scripture. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whatever. Hour 28. We took it there. I don't care. She, ha- You have your petty bullshit. <laughs> she has her petty bullshit. And, you know, she gave you an AK-47 on International Men's Day or Women's Day. She did. She really did. I mean, did. come on, bro. It's, it's, um. She it's, raises chickens. She does. She's homeschooling your kids. She just completed a tra- another chicken tractor. You've said actually. that like three times already. Have I? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, she's, 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 she's a wonderful she, woman. She cooks. She cooks. She home cooked meals. It's, it's amazing stuff. It's amazing stuff. She made that, she made this pork the other day with your apple butter. Yeah, from, yeah, from yeah. How'd how that happen? Holy shit, man. The whole family raved about it. She that was Easter. She made that on Easter. So what? Oh, how did she incorporate the apple butter? Oh, I don't know exactly. I'm probably butchering. Because she had, but to, had it wrapped in bacon. She it, did a lattice, it was, a la- bacon lattice. It was the it was the pork uh, pork sirloin, I believe she had, and then she did okay. the apple butter on top of that, the bacon lattice on top of that. Okay, and then it was all on a bed of all kinds of different vegetables veggies. and shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 That she cooked with it, a bunch of garlic, some carrots, I think. Well, um, pork needs it sweet, was, so apple butter would have been probably she put, great. She put apples in there too. Apple, nope, that's a great thing too. It was, it was delicious. Yeah. It was so tender. It was so juicy. It was, it was your apple butter. It was her pork. It was fantastic. Yeah, and she pulled it out of her ass. It wasn't. It was, it was no recipe or anything of that nature. She hmm. just put it together. I know, and I told I told everybody at the table. I was like, "This is how I eat all the time. <laughs> it's it's awesome." <laughs> Dabs on you. <laughs> I mean, it's. Yeah, she's fantastic. Well, it's good. Good. No, yeah. I'm glad that my apple butter was enjoyed. It really was. It really good. was. And my kids every morning, you know, if we have any kind of bread item, mm-hmm. uh, uh, biscuits. You still have some? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I'm little fucking bit. surprised. Really? Yeah. They, every morning they, they they try and do it. Mm. They don't go crazy with it. It's um. Oh shoot! Is it? God. What? I'm 34. Wait, really? Yeah. Today's your birthday. Yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, the 26th. You you say anything? No, dude. I hate my I like two days ago, my son said to me, <coughs> my son said to me at lunch. He goes, Dad, Wednesday's your birthday, and I was like, Oh God. <laughs> and he's like, What? And I was like, Please don't. <laughs> it's it's I. I I just like birthdays. So that that only makes me four years and like <laughs> five weeks older than you. Is that is that the exact math? If you're thirty four, yeah, I'm thirty. I'll be thirty nine in like five weeks. Yeah, we're not that far apart. Wow. As we get older, it's less time apart. No, it is. Too. It is. It's, it's true. Kind of weird. Yeah. No. But uh, God, I shouldn't have mentioned that. Ugh. It's the worst, man. I just, I. What's the point? What's why do we celebrate these? There's no biblical precedent to do it. They don't celebrate birthdays in the Bible because some one at one point, some parent needed to celebrate something, and they said, "Oh, you were born today. We'll celebrate that because that'll, you know, I, I that'll not leave us from the fact that we have three people in the in the back room dying right now <laughs> of our family." <laughs> It's your birthday. Yay. Yay. Oh, we might not make it. Yeah. And then the neighbors who had two people in the back room dying were like, oh, that lift to the spirits? Yeah. Two of your three people survived? Okay, birthdays now. That's what happened. <laughs> you think that's, that's what it, it was? All yeah. right. Well, maybe. It's possible. Anyways. Well, happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> what does it feel like to be 34? What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad I'm not working in an office or anything like that because uh, that, that's when they really get. They're like, "Oh, today's it," and I'm like, "Yeah, you shouldn't know that." <laughs> <clears throat> well, as a as a celebration of Addison's 34th birthday, <laughs> you can go to mydelta8.com, <laughs> use the promo code 
depressed to get 20% off your next order <laughs> at mydelta8.com. Uh, GTST, but sure. Okay. Yeah. I can't, Same I, difference. I can't remember what the percentage is, but it's the highest one. It's the highest one I can do. So Yeah. Well, you are, <laughs> you're the highest one you can do. <laughs> Like multiple times a day. Uh, no, I, I in the evening. I'm trying to get things done. Okay, all right. All right. Uh, there's no reason to get wacky to backy. No, you don't. Eight in the morning. You, no, you don't want to do that. Every once in a while. I did Every that yesterday. W- did you, you did the you, you, you wake and bake? Well, I got up. <laughs> <laughs> I got out of bed at like eight in the morning, and I got some stuff done, and then it was like nine thirty, and I was like. Yeah, I'm going to make me a rum. <laughs> I popped two of those edibles. And I think oh by like my goodness. 2.30, I was in bed. Slept for like five, six hours. Got up. I'm, I'm Doc Jones. I'm take three of those. A couple more rums on top of that. By 11 o'clock, I was, I was toasty. Went to bed. Uh. That is uh, not what I recommend. <laughs> it was my only day off, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, it doesn't mean that you have to take the substances that you would do over two days and do them in one day. Like, Do you understand that? That's not... Uh, yes, no, I, I, I totally understand that. Okay, good. I wanted to do that, though. <laughs> I wanted to take two days' worth of substances in one day. Uh-huh. Mm. Well... Probably time to start thinking about your health, Matt, because <laughs> this shit is not going to get any easier. I actually, I actually did that. Um, did you lift the other last day? week? I lifted. No, the I, I, I've actually been doing. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh. That's I'm pretty. Just saying. That's pretty good. I'm just saying. You know, I'm, I'm wearing it's long sleeves, now. so I won't <laughs> show my gains right now. <laughs> but okay, and I admit they're sissy bitch push-ups. Uh huh. I think you told me this. Didn't you send me a text and say I did? Uh, so I've been doing like every time I go upstairs to make myself another drink. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I, yeah. I need to do 12 push ups. Oh, wow. Against and then when you can't the, do them, the you stop drinking? Against the stairs. Oh, wow. So like I'll, I'll put up against like stair number five. Right. I'll do like 12. Right. Right. Sometimes 15. Kind of cheating. more. Kind of cheating. It, no, okay. it's totally like I said. They're bit. They're bitch push-ups. Yeah, these are not no. But for myself, I mean, he's into it. So I've been averaging between like thirty to fifty push-ups a night. <laughs> My mom is out there furiously doing the math on your drinks. <laughs> not a big deal. Um, but yeah, but yeah, something to do something right. Yeah, for my health, I bought. Went to Walgreens last week on Monday. Uh huh. Bought some zinc supplements. Ah. Some. Uh, Watch out for those boners, man. Uh, lysine or something like that. Okay. I think. I need to get some new soft gels because I think I have two left. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Of the CBD yeah. evil soft gels. It's good stuff, isn't it? And then started taking my, my multi and K2. Nice. On a regular basis the yeah. past week and a half or so. Yeah, I got you a D3K2, didn't I? Yeah, you Combined, did. I, yeah. yeah, I'm about halfway through it. That's good stuff. Yeah. 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 I, I don't take that every day. Uh, I, well, I posted in, in the channel everything I take. <laughs> Just to start a conversation. I did it with chickens, too, and we had some great conversation. Uh, and speaking of that, a No Agenda producer popped in and sent pictures of, the, of their chickens. Mm-hmm. Like five people now have responded with pictures of their chickens because I I posted a picture of a chi- or I posted a chicken meme, mm-hmm. and and I was like, why haven't you joined Chicken Waffin yet? <laughs> and, and I said, bonus points if you reply to this with pictures proving that you have joined the Chicken Waffin, and so people are, and it's great. Tons of pictures of chickens. I know. Uh, speaking of the No Agenda audience, if anybody listens, um, Sir Spencer and Dame Delorean from No Agenda. Uh, they do a podcast bowl after bowl, and it's it, it's it's uh, it's kind of about weed. Mm-hmm. It's kind of it's it's very interesting, but it's entertaining. Yeah. So check that out if you're interested. Um, they did a massive chicken coop that he built and put together and all this stuff. Yeah. Anyways, 
Lots of folks are joining the chicken waffin, and it's easy to see why, because we might all starve or something. I mean, uh, when was the last time we, we did an episode? Uh, uh, Just you and I, because we did Megacast, but yeah. it, it's been like three weeks. I it think. has been. Yeah. Um, it's been a minute. Did I mention to you that chicken... You that, mentioned pork. That eggs? No. Uh, the price of eggs right now? So. Uh-uh, no. I'm paying 29 cents an egg right now. As opposed to what? Nor- what? Nor- oh, sorry, twenty seven cents for my cheapest supplier, and per egg three three week. Or I'm sorry, three months ago. Yeah, I was paying eleven cents an egg. Wow, wow. The price of double lobed six ounce chicken breast mm-hmm. for a case of twenty pounds. Yeah, is one hundred and thirty two dollars. Sounds like you need to join Chicken Waffle, which comes out to six dollars <laughs> a pound. Yeah. Roughly six bucks a pound to get pasture raised, free range, plucking and pecking hens. Yeah. 10 ounce single lobe breasts, big fucking chickens to get those breasts skin on, cleaned, ready to go. Mm. 630 a pound right now. <laughs> My local suppliers for a vastly superior product yeah. are almost cheaper than my major suppliers right now on chicken. Yeah, I, that wouldn't surprise me at all. They're killing flocks left and right. Beef is Over this still thing. three bucks a pound ground. Yeah. Beef is holding right now. Pork is, is low. Still. But chicken and, and chicken wings last year were a thing that yeah. people were just. Oh my God! The price of chicken wings, eggs, and normal chicken breasts are about to go through the fucking roof. Yeah, we're gonna see in uh, I think a very few months a lot of places like Chick Fil A. Yeah, have real problems. Have problems. Yeah, because they're like not use their chicken is processed, but it's not like ground. Chicken ankles. Chicken parts, right. Yeah. Right? It's not mechanically separated chicken. <laughs> which is the industry term for all the... Meat grinder. Yeah. All the things we can call meat <laughs> that aren't usable on a chicken carcass. <laughs> the sad thing is you're not wrong. I'm 100% right on Yeah. That. No. And that's, that's your... What, that's what that's, McNuggets are. That's your McNuggets. Yeah. That's your fucking McChicken. That's your chicken patties. That you buy from the grocery store. That's all that stuff. Mechanically separated chicken. So, which is just like they put chicken in, in, in a, a form of acid that doesn't, <laughs> that only leaves the meat and then they just skim it off and is bleach a, it. Yeah. And f- form it into patties, freeze it, and bread it. Or into dinosaur nuggets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know. It's your dino nugget. That's what you're di- eating in your dino nugget. <laughs> It's the same thing you're you you're eating a pizza roll that's beef and cheese or or meat and cheese three meat combination uh that's cow tongue that's yeah. liver <laughs> okay you think so yeah yeah one hundred percent yeah uh well anyways where were we I think you were about to leave up, the chicken waffle yeah I didn't want to leave anyways yeah I guess that's it anyway uh yeah join the chicken waffle she homeschools. She cooks. She's in the chicken waffin. She she's a she's a shield maiden of the chicken waffin. Bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's gonna want to make a shirt with that on it. Now that you're <laughs> dumbass, now that you're stoned ass, come up with it. Golly, man. And I'm gonna have to pay some Pakistani on Fiverr to do it. So I can add it to the tripod broadcasting shop. <laughs> Whatever. That's already a gift you want to give to your wife. Let her have the, the theater one night a week. Uh, anyways. All right. Well. It's all clown world. Basically. I've missed this. It's been like three weeks of the drought. It's been a minute. And yeah. Yeah. Mega cast was great, but. It was a blast. It was good hanging out with you tonight, bro. Yeah, man. So, my Delta 8, <laughs> ebels.com, 
whatever. Join the chat or don't. We don't care. We're doing this for we, us. We are. It's true. Holy shit. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday, bro. <sighs> it's not. For all intents and purposes, it's not. You've been 34 for 17 minutes, according to Google. Nifty. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody out there in audio land. Please clap. Whatever you say, liberal. Okay. Okay. Liberal. Yeah, live. Whatever you say, liberal. Okay. Okay. Liberal. Yeah, live. Whatever you say, liberal. Okay. Okay. Liberal. Watch out for those boners, man. This has been a production of Tripod Broadcasting.